Hello students. Have you ever thought about the characteristics of an ideal teacher? Well, today we are going to discuss the same and our topic is characteristics of good teacher behavior. Dear students, for today's lesson our main objectives are number 1 to discuss the role of teacher in the modern context. Number 2 to define the concept of behavior. Number 3 to explain the meaning of teacher behavior and the fourth one is to discuss the major characteristics of good teacher behavior. Dear students, let us start with the role of teacher in the modern context. Teachers are undoubtedly the most important component of our educational system. In fact, a teacher is topmost academic and professional person in the whole educational pyramid under whose charge the destiny of our children is placed by the parents and the society. The quality of education largely depends upon the quality of our teachers. According to National Policy on Education 1986 and its revised version, no system of education can rise above the level of its teachers. A nation is built by its citizens and citizens are molded by the teachers. So, for the development of a country, it's very important to have good teachers. The role and position of teachers as the source of all knowledge has changed. Two, teacher as a manager of learning, resources and a guide to knowledge. A teacher needs to be conceived as a change agent and not as a mere transmitter of knowledge and culture. The stereotype del patterns of chalk and talk no longer holds any value. Today, education is considered as a system which is relevant to national and human aspirations for world peace, happiness, prosperity, dignity and to appreciate human resource development. Therefore, a teacher becomes the kingpin in the educational system. So, to be a teacher is to be a member of special profession. A teacher has to display exceptional empathy, persistence, diligence, sincerity, research orientation, honesty, flexibility as a person. Teachers are the models in the classroom whose attitudes are imitated by the students consciously or unconsciously. Teachers provide direction to the students and are sources of inspiration to them. Thus, the crucial role of teacher in achieving the goals of education is self-evident. Knowledge of the desirable qualities required in a teacher can help the teacher become an effective professional. He can develop the qualities of mind and personality which predispose him to success in teaching and establish a report with the students which is prerequisite for learning. According to Bhatia 1977, effective teaching has no meaning if it does not lead to effective learning. In school, students spend a lot of time in association with the teachers and teachers' behavior, affect the learning situation in the classroom. Dear students, broadly speaking, the six areas of teacher activity are number one, the teacher as an information provider, number two, the teacher as a role model, number three, teacher as a facilitator, number four, teacher as an assessor, number five, teacher as a planner, and number six, teacher as a resource developer. Let us now shift our focus on the concept of behavior. The term behavior can be defined as the way in which an individual behaves or acts. It is the way an individual conducts himself or herself. Behavior is to be viewed in reference to a phenomena, an object or person. It can be seen in reference to social norms or the ways in which 
one treats others or handles objects. Behavior, therefore, is the way an individual acts towards people, society, objects. It can be either good or bad. It can be normal or abnormal according to social norms. Behavior is also a mode of communication. Communication is a process of conveying information such as knowledge, skills, attitudes, aptitudes, abilities. Students, we are now going to understand what teacher behavior is. According to Smith, teacher behavior is the expressiveness or ability of a teacher to communicate to students through the use of appropriate words, gestures and looks. Babalula describes teacher behavior or effectiveness in terms of four observable behaviors which include physical movement, voice inflection, eye contact and humor. According to Gagni, the essential task of a teacher is to arrange the conditions of the learner's environment so that process of learning will be activated, supported, enhanced and maintained. Research shows that the behavior of the teacher more than that of any other individual influences the climate in the classroom. Classroom climate in this respect refers to the generalized attitudes towards the teachers and the class that the pupil shares in common in spite of their individual differences. Let us now understand characteristics of good teacher behavior. Effective teachers consistently display certain characteristics. According to Glenda K. Fralon, the characteristics of good teacher behavior are number one, communicator of knowledge. Teacher should have knowledge of what he is teaching and also should have the ability to share that knowledge. Ability to gain students interest often hangs on the attitude of the teachers and his ability to communicate at a student's level. Number two, flexibility and tolerance. The teacher needs flexibility and tolerance in teaching style and method. No two students are the same. Not all students learn the same way or at the same pace. Therefore, great teachers are always flexible and tolerant towards individual differences of their students. Such teachers always try to strike a balance to meet varied needs of his learners. Number two, sense of detachment. A teacher should never personalize a student's inability to cope in the classroom setting. By personalizing the student's problem, they end up resenting the student. Number three, creativity and humor. Creativity is a must for teachers. To sustain the interest of the students, a good teacher should use humor. Number four, listener. The ability to listen is also to help target potential problems. A good teacher is always a good listener. Number five, patient yet firm. Teachers need to be patient, but they also need to be firm. If a teacher does not remain firm on some set boundaries in the classroom, children usually retaliate through undesirable behaviors. Patience is a part of being firm. To be firm does not mean screaming at a child. It means letting them know your limits and holding to them. Patience comes in giving students to absorb the reality of boundaries. Firmness is in correcting the student through reminders. Number six, good example. A teacher needs to set a good example for their students. Teachers need to maintain respectability in their lifestyle beyond the school grounds. Dear students, let's now discuss characteristics of a good teacher behavior as given by Alex Landis. Number one, great teachers are confident. They instill inside us values, knowledge, 
hopes and dreams. Number two, they love what they do. There is no question that an awesome teacher loved to teach. Passion has a great impact and this is something that all great teachers have. Number three, good communicators. A teacher has the responsibility of bridging the gap between themselves and their students. So good communication skills are a must. Number four, admirable. In order for a teacher to be great, he must be admirable. These teachers lead lives of high moral grounds. They set an example to their students because of it. Number five, positive reinforcement. Instead of using stick punishment to discipline students, great teachers know how to use positive reinforcement to discipline students in a state. Number six, fear and jest. Equality is an ideal that great teachers hold dear to themselves. They treat their students equally, yet giving them individual attention they need. Number seven, leadership. Great teachers are leaders. They have to lead their students on the right path through the learning experience. Number eight, committed. There is no doubt that a great teacher is committed. They are willing to help their students whenever there is a need. Number nine, understanding. Great teachers understand their students better than most people. They understand their students very well. Number 10, compassion and caring. There is suffering in the world. A great teacher recognizes this and has the inner desire to help. Number 11, confidence. A teacher cannot teach without confidence. Great teachers are confident. They know how to teach and what they are teaching. Number 12, prepared. Excellent teachers are always prepared. They know the steps necessary in their curriculum to teach students and follow them well. Number 13, professionalism. Professionalism is the sign of a great teacher. Terrific teachers dress well, have good hygiene and treat their students with respect. My dear students, we are going to discuss the characteristics of good teacher behavior as given by Suzanne Thompson and others. Number one, fearless. As human, we possess an ingrained sense of fear play. Fairness is one of the characteristics of good teachers. Number two, positive attitude. Effective teachers are generally positive minded individuals who believe in the success of their students as well as on their own. Number three, preparedness. Competence and knowledge of the content are being taught is very important. Number four, personal touch. Good teachers convey a personal touch with their students. They smile often, ask about students' feelings and opinions, and accept students for who they are. Number five, sense of humor. Good teachers are remembered for their sense of humor. If a teacher has a quick wit, and ability to break the ice in difficult situations with the use of humor. This is an extremely valuable asset. Number six, creativity. Many teachers are remembered for their creative ways and unusual things they do in their teaching. Number seven, willingness to admit mistakes. Teachers who recognize their mistakes and apologize for them when they affect the student, provide an excellent model for the students. Number eight, forgiving. Good teachers also reflect a willingness to forgive students for their shortcomings. Number nine, respect. For a great teacher, each person's ideas and opinions are valued. Students feel safe to express their feelings and learn to respect others and listen to others. Number 10, high expectations. Teachers with positive attitudes 
also possess high expectations for success. Teachers' expectation level affect the ways in which teachers teach and interact with students. Number 11, compassion. Effective teachers are supportive of students in multiple ways and help to meet their needs for belonging and success. Number 12, sense of belongingness. Respecting students, showing compassion and developing a sense of belonging for students center around the theme of caring and is one of the main characteristics of good teacher behavior. Dear students, we have now learned that teacher effectiveness is one of the core issues in education. These different factors are measured and assessed in order to come up with the indicators of successful teaching. A teacher's general performance in teaching is influenced by various internal and external factors. However, in explaining the teaching performance, there are some important factors that need to be considered. Teacher's performance is influenced by the teacher's personality characteristics. Researchers have revealed that some personality traits like leadership quality, flexibility and tolerance, creativity and humor, etc. have significant effect on teachers' classroom performance. Therefore, organized efforts should be made to develop such characteristics among teachers in different teacher training courses and programs. Dear students, on this positive note, let us conclude this very important topic of the day. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson. For now, it's time to say goodbye. Stay blessed and enlightened with knowledge. Take care.